My name is Mary St. John. My title is Regional Director of Community Services and Education at Planned Parenthood Shasta Diablo. At Planned Parenthood Shasta Diablo, we are there for individuals who often have no other place to go. And we're there for individuals no matter what their personal circumstances are. Uh, and we're thrilled to be a part of Project Homeless Connect, where over 60 organizations and businesses in Shasta County have that same mission. The funds from Redding Rancheria will go directly to provide services on site at Project Homeless Connect. And Project Homeless Connect is really unique because it is one day where homeless individuals receive the services that they need. There are so many agencies and businesses who contribute people and time and resources, uh, but without this funding, we wouldn't be able to have a successful year this year, so we really appreciate it. I'm Jordan Stormer, and I'm from Living Hope Compassion Ministries. Living Hope is a day resource center for the homeless and low income in Reading. We serve meals uh, every day, Monday through Friday and Sunday. And we give away groceries twice a week, provide showers and laundry. We really strive in everything that we do to, to build relationships with people. It's not just, hey, I'm behind this window giving you food. You know, like, I know their names, they know my name, I know their story, you know, I know about their life. And, and really just trying to create a structure of friendship and family. And that, to us, is more important than anything, because there's so many people that don't have that. We received a grant for $12,000 from the Reading Ranch Area Community Fund, and that money went towards our food assistance program, which mainly dealt with mass feeding to the homeless and low income in Reading. The way that you serve people and the quality of food and clothing and all those things that you serve really communicates on a deep level worth and value to people. I'm Leonard Modi and I'm the Vice Chair of Mercy Foundation North Organization. At the hospital, there's a number of individuals who come in, particularly homeless people who are in dire need of clothing when they're ready to be discharged. And they have no other sources to, uh, to acquire that clothing. And Mercy thought it was important to provide the individual with adequate uh, clothing to wear, particularly in certain conditions, but also just for sanitary needs. It's important for the Mercy Foundation uh, to find a way to fund this program to allow the hospital to adequately supply individuals. Mercy Foundation really is just a, another arm of the Sisters of Mercy and their real intent is to provide uh, other financial means for the hospital to carry out their mission. And so the foundation raises money here in the North State to assist the three hospitals that Mercy, the Sisters of Mercy operate and this is just one of the programs that we're trying to help them with. You know Mercy Foundation North is always trying to raise uh, funds from our community for a lot of different uh, programs and opportunities that we have to help people. And we always need the help of the local people to step forward. And certainly Reading Rancheria with this donation of $25,000 for this particular program will be a big asset to our efforts to help the Sisters of Mercy. I'm Maggie John with Shasta Women's Refuge. Shasta Women's Refuge has been serving the community for over 30 years. We serve victims of domestic violence and sexual assault. Women who come into our shelter are basically homeless. They have no other place to stay. Safety is an issue, security is an issue. A recent study by the city of Reading said that domestic violence was the fourth cause of homelessness in our community. So homeless is a big issue for Women's Refuge and trying to find a place that's safe and secure while also linking these women with the services they need to move on and be self-sufficient is what we're really about. We were really excited to receive this grant um, award. It was for $29,000 and it was to remodel our sheltered kitchen. And our kitchen was very, very old and worn down and shelves were broken and we kept trying to repair things. So the physical need was there, but the nurturing environment and a place where the mother and child can work together on cooking, learning about nutrition, and having what is as close to a normal evening or a normal day as is possible for these people that are in trauma. Thank you Rancheria for the $29,000 grant and thank you Rancheria for all you do in this community. It really, really is important and very helpful. Hi, 
I'm uh, Franklin Pierce. I'm the dental director for the Shasta Community Health Center Dental Center. For the Hope Van, which is, it means health outreach for people everywhere, it is our mobile van to go out to get to the, the areas where the homeless reside and live. And uh, we see up to 3,000 patients, homeless patients a year, medical and dental, and that includes up to, I think, about 15,000 visits. What, what this grant is focusing on, and an area that we felt is a great cost to us, is involving uh, movable partials and ventures. A lot of these patients are missing teeth. And as everyone knows, a healthy smile is, is important for self-esteem, for finding a good job, for getting housing. All these things flow from that. And so we're hoping that utilizing this grant specifically for that area, we can restore their smiles and maybe just uh, take a small step toward getting back into the, the mainstream society. I want to I thank the Ridden Rancher for the, the, the generous gift of $30,000. It's a significant uh, amount of money and we really appreciate it and uh, it's going to go directly to patient care. It's going to help a lot of people.